Muhammad's first impression of his revelations was that they were demonic in origin. Muhammad's first impression of his revelations was that they were demonic. So you've heard that Muhammad received revelations through the angel Gabriel. That was a later Muslim position. Muhammad eventually came to believe that. But when he first started receiving revelations, he did not have a very good opinion of them. And let me go ahead and read the passage. This is from Ibn Asaq's Surat Rasulullah. This describes the night that Muhammad began receiving revelation. When it was the night on which God honored him with his mission and showed mercy on his servants thereby, Gabriel brought him the command of God. He came to me, said the apostle of God, while I was asleep with a coverlet of brocade whereupon was some writing and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it so tightly that I thought it was death. Then he let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it again so that I thought it was death. Then he let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it the third time so that I thought it was death and said, read. I said, what then shall I read? And this I said only to deliver myself from him, lest he should do the same to me again. He said, read in the name of thy Lord who created, who created uh, man of blood coagulated, read Thy Lord is the most beneficent, who taught by the pen, taught that which he knew not unto men. So I read it, and he departed from me, and I woke from my sleep, and it was as though these words were written on my heart. So that's the first revelation that Muhammad received from what he would eventually regard as the angel Gabriel. But here's the important point. When Muhammad ran out of that cave, terrified, he didn't think that he had encountered the angel Gabriel. He believed that he was possessed. So anyway, the passage continues. Now, none of God's creatures was more hateful to me than an ecstatic poet or a man possessed. I could not even look at them. I thought, woe is me, poet or possessed. Never shall Quraysh say this of me. So Muhammad didn't want his tribe to realize that he was possessed. And so he came up with a plan, which is actually going to be our next point. But think about this. Sometimes, my friends, first impressions are the correct one, right? And when Muhammad encountered whatever it was that he encountered, when it keeps pressing on him until he thinks it's death, he thinks it's something profoundly bad. He doesn't think, oh, I've, I've encountered the Lord. I've encountered one of his angels. He doesn't think that. He thinks this is something very, very bad. And it's actually other people who convinced him, no, yeah. it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't something demonic. That was an angel. It wasn't anyone who was there either, right? It's his, it's his wife, Khadija. Khadija and, yes. and, her, and her cousin. Yeah, who didn't even know the content of the revelation that the mm -hmm. so-called angel was eventually to bring to mm -hmm. Muhammad. All he heard was Muhammad say, this is what happened. And according to the tradition, Waraka bin Nofal says, that was her cousin, who supposedly was a Christian who studied the gospel. If what you tell him is the truth, then the same namus, meaning the same lawgiver that appeared to Moses, has appeared to you, and you're a prophet to these mm -hmm. people. Yeah, so the ultimate, mm -hmm. <laughs> the ultimate uh, credibility of Islam doesn't go to Muhammad. It goes to Khadija and her cousin, right? Yeah. Her, it goes to Khadija and her <laughs> cousin because they're the ones who said, no, you've, you've, just, you've just met an angel. <laughs> so it's important to, uh, to realize this, uh, where the real authority lies in Islam. But Muhammad's first impression again was that whatever he had encountered was demonic. It was other people who weren't there, who had no idea what he had experienced, who convinced him yeah. otherwise. As a side note real quick, um, the word for possession in Arabic mm -hmm. or madman in Arabic is majnun. Majnun literally means possessed by a jinn, jinn possessed. And from a Christian perspective, jinns are nothing more than evil spirits or demons. So Muhammad actually is recorded in the Arabic as saying, I'm majnun, jinn possessed. Mm -hmm.